I like to solve problems like this with Venn diagrams. So we'll start by drawing a rectangle to represent all 280 students, and we'll make a stats bubble and a calculus bubble. Now we're told there's 107 students who are taking statistics. So I'll write 107 in the stats bubble. We're also told there's 83 that are taking calculus. But then we have a problem. 107 plus 83 is 190. In the problem it says there's only 170 students who are taking statistics or calculus. So somehow we overcounted by 20. The problem is there's 20 students who are taking both stats and calculus. So when we counted them in the statistics bubble and then recounted them in the calculus bubble, they got double counted. So let's put a 20 in the intersection between the two bubbles here. And our stats bubble still needs to add up to 107. So we need to adjust this number by subtracting 20 from it. Now it's just 87 and the whole bubble adds to 107. We have to do the same for calculus. All right, now these three numbers add to 170, and each of the bubbles adds up to the right number as well. We're also told that the survey had 280 students in it. Since inside our bubbles, we only have 170 accounted for, that means there's 110 students who aren't taking stats or calculus. So to determine the probability a randomly selected student is taking both stats and calculus, we'll look at the 20 students who are taking stats and calculus and divide it by the total number of students. And that probability is approximately 0 0.0714. Now some people prefer to use two-way tables instead of Venn diagrams. A two-way table has the same four values as the Venn diagram. You can use whichever one you're more comfortable with. To be mutually exclusive, the probability of taking stats and calculus has to equal zero. But in part A, we found that probability was about 0 0.0714, so not zero. So the events randomly selecting a student taking statistics and randomly selecting a student taking calculus are not mutually exclusive. It's possible for a student to be taking both statistics and calculus. If you liked this video and you want to learn more about probability, especially if you're studying for the AP stats exam, Check out this playlist. It covers many topics of probability that will help you for the exam.